Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for a reality check that will shake the very foundation of your beliefs. Today we are diving deep into the despicable deaths of Meghan Markle's latest scheme, a vile exploitation of a crisis stricken royal family for her own gain. Yes, you heard it right, Meghan Markle, the spotlight hungry diva has stooped to a new low, shamelessly using the vulnerabilities of the royal household to boost her brand and name. And it's time we call her out for the disgusting mastermind that she is. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now let's dissect this repugnant plot, shall we? Just as the royal family is grappling with the health struggles of King Charles and the recovery of Duchess Kate, what does Meghan do? She launches her so-called lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard. Could the timing be any more insensitive? While Prince William is set to honor Princess Diana's legacy, Meghan is busy scheming her way into the limelight. It's sickening, it's calculated, and it's utterly disgraceful. But wait, there's more. According to royal expert Tom Bauer, Meghan's tactics are not just opportunistic, they're downright sinister. She knows exactly what she's doing. While the palace is preoccupied with pressing matters, Meghan sees an opening to thrust herself into the spotlight. And she's exploiting it shamelessly. With the king battling cancer and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge dealing with their own health issues, there's little energy left to combat Meghan's audacious maneuvers. It's a cowardly move, preying on the vulnerabilities of others for personal gain. And let's not forget about the elephant in the room, the use of royal titles for profit. Meghan's new venture raises serious questions about the terms of her agreement with the royal family. Did she conveniently forget about the restrictions on profiting from her royal status? It seems so, but does she care? Of course not. In Meghan's world, rules are meant to be broken, especially when it comes to lining her pockets. But perhaps the most nauseating aspect of this whole debacle is the brazen display of privilege and entitlement. While the world grapples with real issues, Megan frolics in her Montecito mansion arranging white roses and baking in her kitchen for a promotional video. It's a slap in the face to those who are genuinely suffering. And let's not be fooled by her facade of altruism. Behind the carefully curated images lies a cunning opportunist, hungry for attention and fame at any cost. Make no mistake, Meghan Markle is not a victim, she's a predator, preying on the vulnerabilities of others for personal gain. And it's time we say enough is enough. We cannot let her get away with this blatant exploitation of the royal family. It's time to hold her accountable for her actions, to expose her for the disgraceful manipulator that she is. So to Meghan Markle I say this, you may have left the royal family, but you'll never escape the shadow of your own shameless ambition. You're not a duchess, you're a disgrace. And history will remember you, not as a princess, but as a pariah. So what do you think about this news, guys? Sound off in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.